Alright, so what's up, what's up? It's your boy Corey B. What I want to talk to you about is the idea of making a change. This is a transition that all of us need to work on. It's something that honestly is an endless uh, thing that you never really stop working on. It's the idea of excuses. Like, you gotta stop making excuses. Um, I found myself the other day, this is what brought this to my mind, is that I literally found myself in this uh, position um, about a Last week, I was talking to a friend, and we were talking um, some business stuff, and we were talking, and I was talking about my journey and how I had been um, going through different things and how I've had my business, you know, I mean, essentially, I've had my business for going on 19 years now, but, I mean, there's been transitional points in there where, like, you know, after my first son was born, that... Uh, you know, I took a full-time job, and when I was working that full-time job, I worked that full-time job about four and a half years, and and so I never really stopped my business, but my business did slow down, and I found myself the the way that I started to word it, and I had to catch myself because I uh, started wording it as if it was my job, the job that I had taken was preventing me from growing my business, which. That is, is really not the case. I mean, ultimately, yes, my job did eat up some time. Um, it, eat a, it ate up a, a <laughs> you know, it, it ate up a, an extensive amount of my time. I had a, a son, um, a newborn son, and then a year later, um, he was one and I was having another son. Um, so, yes, there are things in our lives that happen that ultimately you know, are going to change the dynamic of your life and change your direction, maybe, you know, slow you down, speed you up, different things like that, but you can't let it be an excuse for where you're at. Like, my son, both of my children, or both my boys, like, they should be honestly motivation for where I'm at right now and where I'm going and thriving to make my business grow and more successful because they need you know, me to be around as much as I can in their life. They also need me to be able to provide for them the things they need in life. And they need a strong, positive role model in their life. And all of these things, by focusing on my business and putting what I have into my business, that's what I'm going to be able to give them. So the idea of, you know, them or the job that I took at the time because of security and things like that, um, those things saying, well... Mm, did that really hinder my business? It did not. I allowed my time to be monopolized. And not only did I allow my time to be monopolized in that way, but for a few years, I didn't put the focus I needed in my business. I'm aware of that now. I wish I had been aware of it then, what I was doing and how I was um, stifling my own progress and that I needed to really be because the idea is that, I mean, I've talked to several different people, the people that I've coached and the people I've worked with and things like that. And it's like this idea that, well, I'm going to have my business. And so in order to get my business up and going and be able to dedicate myself to my business, I need to quit my job. Was well, your business viable? Is your business earning money? Is your business sustainable? If it is, great. If it's not, how can you quit your job? Ultimately, if you have a job and you're working a job and you're wanting to start a business, start your business while you're doing that job. I mean, unless you've got uh, some kind of, like, reserve money that you're sitting on that you're just like, well, I can live off of this for the next several months and I have also have money to invest in my business. If you've got that kind of money, then great. Uh, most people don't. Most people don't have this reserve sitting over here in the back saying, well, let me just go take the mattress out of the back room and, you know, I'm pull out a bunch of cash and, you know, I'm going to grow a business and take off for the next five months. It's not going to happen for most of us. Um, and the reality is a lot of times five months isn't even enough. Like, how long do you need to get your business viable? Ultimately, this is a topic for another day, another video, and I'll, I'll get back on that, you know, you know, I'll talk more about that. But for today, my, my point and my focus was just on, on this thing that crossed my mind this week when I was talking to my friend, and I was like, it was me that made choices. It was me that had my focus in certain, I mean, I had my boy. I did. I had my boy, and then I had two boys, and then I had this job that I was like, okay, well, I want to do good at this job. I want to build up a reputation at this job. I want to dedicate myself to this job. Those are all good, good things. But when my boy went to sleep, when, you know, uh, 
my my me and Kimberly have always been you know kind of juggling our schedules so that we wouldn't have to put our boys in childcare. There was ways that I could have sacrificed uh, more of my sleep. I could have sacrificed time doing this or time doing that. Um, I could have found ways, like I'm better at it now. I definitely am. I'm better at juggling it now. And me and my boys, we have a rhythm. Like I can work without them feeling like they're not getting my attention. I can work right there with them and they don't feel like I'm not giving them the time they need. And that's what you have to work on. You have to work on developing these skills and these ways to balance your life and your business without making an excuse that my life got in the way of my business. Wherever it is, whatever it is you're doing, don't make excuses for yourself. Don't let things get in the way of your progress, of your success, of your overall happiness and joy. And this doesn't just go for your business, it goes for your life as well. Whatever it is, prioritize things in your life. Figure out what's most important to you. Figure out what's most important, how to get there, when you're going to get there, and what you're going to do to make it happen. And don't allow things to get in the way. All right. I'm not going to harp on y'all. I just wanted to make that point. I want to get that out there. Y'all go ahead and give me a like. You know, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell so you get your notifications. And I'm going to uh, talk to y'all more. Like I said, we'll elaborate on some of those other points. Um, y'all can message me anytime. Leave a comment below. Whatever it is you want to hear more about or you want me to elaborate on, let's do that. For now, until next time, y'all get cocky. It's your boy Corby. Later.